this place where Alyssa rests? The problem with MSD is that... So we're here to talk about gun violence, right? Right. This is more activism than art. I am demanding change. It's possible if you have the conversation to find the common ground. Our son is a victim of gun violence. He got shot four times and died. Bang, 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 bang. And I saw the Portland kids turning into martial lives. And there are people who stand against you because you are too young. We say no more. It's not easy to use your son's images to to give messages when your son was shot. The legend of my son needs to have big impact. I own that to Joaquin. I own to Joaquin that he becomes that person that is fighting from the other side and people is starting to listen to his message. It's not about my message, it's about Joaquin's message. The mural that we did today here in D.C., it's pretty special. We're getting closer to Congress. We lost our son, but we are proud parents of a victim that is becoming an activist. And, and he won't stop doing what he's doing. We follow the kids. We believe in them. They are going to change these things. And every time I think about it, I see Joaquin as part of them. And that's where the being proud of my son comes from. I don't have another job now. This is my job. This is my future and my present. I was able to find a connection between what I used to do and what I'm doing now, which is good. This is my comfort on comfort zone. This is more activism than art. This is not about the art piece. It's about the moment that you have to make a statement. I used to uh, paint wearing all the wristbands of the organizations and they became uncomfortable at some point. There was a lot of them, and I wanted to support all of them together. So since then, I decided to put them on the shoes, on Joaquin's shoes. So every time I have an event or so, I will just wear these shoes. I want to feel like I'm walking on his shoes. It's an extension of Joaquin. He can still be here. Even though some house races remain undecided, CNN can now make this projection with a very- I was really reserved on election night. I wasn't a part of the really in intense emotion that a lot of my friends were having. And I told them because we're still figuring this out. I was like, look, like this is the first election cycle that we invested anything in. And this voting block of young people is radically different than any generation in the way that we see these issues. I just can't wait to see what the future holds. We found that school shootings was the one issue that most highly correlated with young people participating and has been the highest level of uh, participation at least in the last 32 years and likely kind of beyond that. It was young people voting overwhelmingly Democrat. That essentially accounts for two percentage points in the national vote. There are at least 10 congressional races where the margin was less than two points. So you can easily make the case that young people were decisive in about 10 congressional races. Did the Parkland kids motivate the higher turnout? Um, not necessarily. They were, again, one of the brushstrokes, message-wise, that, that it did get young people looking to vote a certain way. 
can they feel good about what they did on adding to that increased involvement and turnout? Absolutely. Can they take credit for being the sole motivator? I just don't see it in the numbers. The reason why Ron DeSantis won the governorship of Florida and why Rick Scott won the Senate seat was because pro-gun people were activated in revulsion for the anti-gun uh, rhetoric uh, being spewed on them by the Parkland people. Manny always is Joaquin's father. And I feel like when he's with us, he's, he's a March for Our Lives activist. Get involved. And that'll be a great way to fight it because we're gonna be, have a lot of more soldiers in our uh, side. He loves just being part of this with us. We have a very special guest here who has put a lot of work in working with March for Our Lives and with Community Coalition. So we just want to invite uh, the Olivers to come up here and share some words with everyone here today. There's also an amazing kind of relationship between the March for Our Lives kids and Manuel Oliver. Manny's the only adult that they allow into their meetings. He's the exception. Joaquin was fighting for this before I even had an idea that this could become an issue. Manny's also the surrogate there for Joaquin, who Manny feels like would definitely have been a part of this. We do not have Joaquin at home, but we have a bunch of kids out there that are, now it's our duty to march for your lives. Thank you very much. You really go into the deep roots of what founded our nation and what... Manny and Matt have a really great bond. They're both artists in different ways. I mean, you know, they're both visual artists, but they're, they're also really thinkers. And so I think they kind of think in the same kind of ways. They're just like, you know, ideas just bouncing off each other constantly. Do you have an idea of how we can increase the number of... of when those generational coalitions can be built, that is the foundation for something that uh, extends beyond a one issue or one year campaign into a real movement. We can and we will change the world. As I think about 2018, I can think of no one who deserves more credit for youth participation, for this awakening of civic participation in electoral politics than the young students, the families, and the community members within Parkland. South Africa was a great event. The kids were, were nominated to receive the uh, Kids Peace Prize Award. Joaquin was gonna be on stage with us when we accepted the award. They wanted me to talk about them, this Parkland movement. It's an honor to be here. So that was a privilege for me. You push it and you move it forward and you succeed it. And then you decided that you could be an option for parents like Patricia and myself to feel better, to fight a light on that nightmare. And guess what? You succeeded. Let me get closer to him. I took the 3D sculpture of Joaquin with me, so he was next to me while I was giving my speech. Desmond Tutu was there, and I asked Desmond Tutu to bless the sculpture, and he did. The March for Our Lives movement is a prime example for millions of children around the world, that children are change makers. They demonstrate that if you work together, trust each other, and build on one another, you can move the world. And this is just the beginning. You, the young people, you have a wide, blank canvas. Let's draw it the right way. After Columbine, the narrative was the gun movement is through, uh, gun control is now uh, inexorable. Uh, the same was true after Virginia Tech, the same was true after Sandy Hook. In none of those cases was it a tipping point. 
the people who love guns love guns, the people who hate guns hate guns, and they will continue to remain in a delicate balance pushing and pulling against each other. Martial Arts is going to continue organizing to scale. We have thousands of people all around the country right now as we speak organizing locally around gun violence prevention, raising money, knocking doors, getting people registered to vote. It didn't stop because the election's over. It's just picking up again.